I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a dream catcher. I take two fingers at the top in the center and underneath I put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a circle, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Right above my first dot, I put another dot. I'm going to mimic my circle line, curve line, curve line, keep going all the way around, and connect. And now above that one, I'm going to put one more dot. We're going to draw that circle line again. Curve line, curve line. Keep going, keep going, and connect. Okay. Right in the center, I'm going to put a dot, and I'm going to draw another circle. Curve line, keep going, keep going, connect. Inside the circle, I'm going to draw straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line, cross. Kind of like a tic-tac-toe. I come up to the top section and I go straight line down, up, connect, straight line down, up, connect, straight line up, down, connect, straight line in, out, connect. I come right where I put my first dot, I put another dot because we're going to draw that line all the way around again. Okay, starting on the left hand side, right across, I'm going to put one, two, three baby circles. Come all the way across to the right, one, two, three baby circles. Come straight down from my dot one, two, three baby circles. Now, in between this space, I'm going to add one, two, three baby circles. Come down and in between this space, one, two, three baby circles. Come on the left hand side. In between this space, I'm going to add one, two, three baby circles. And in between this space, one, two, three baby circles. I come back to the left and I'm going to draw a curved line and then I'm going to go zigzag, zigzag, zigzag down. Come to the other side, zigzag, zigzag, zigzag down and connect. I come up to the top and zigzag the top, zigzag the bottom and draw a slightly curved line in between. Come to the next set of baby circles. I draw a curved line, zigzag, zigzag, zigzag down on the right, zigzag, zigzag down on the left, connect, come up to the top, zigzag, zigzag, slightly curved line in the center. Now come over to the right hand side. We're going to do it again. Curved line, Zigzag, zigzag, zigzag down on the right. Zigzag, zigzag down on the left. Connect. Come up to the top. Zigzag. Bottom. Zigzag. Slightly curved line in the center. Let's do it again. Curve line. Zigzag, zigzag, zigzag down on the left. Zigzag, zigzag down. Whoops, I'm sorry, on the right and the left. Zigzag across the top, zigzag on the bottom, slightly curved line down the center. Let's do the one right here in the center. Curved line, zigzag, zigzag down on the right, zigzag, zigzag down on the left, and connect. Come up to the top, zigzag across, zigzag at the bottom, slightly curved line. Let's do this one by ourselves because I'm tired of saying zigzag, zigzag on the right, zigzag, zigzag on the left, zigzag at the top, 
zigzag at the bottom, slightly curved line down the center, one more, curve line, zigzag, zigzag, zigzag down on the right, zigzag, zigzag down on the left, connect, come up to the top, zigzag, bottom, zigzag, slightly curved line down the center. Okay. Now I come back inside this space and I draw a triangle where my dot was at the top and I draw one, two straight lines. Jump over the middle, we're going to draw a triangle at the bottom and one, two straight lines. Okay? So basically what we're doing is we're dividing up our pace, our paper into spaces. So first I'm going to do this right space. Watch what I do. Straight diagonal in, straight diagonal out. Come down. Straight diagonal in, straight diagonal out. And right here, straight diagonal down. Come back up, straight diagonal down. Connect. Put a dot right there at the middle point and we're just going to go curve line, curve line, connect curve line, curve line, connect. Skip this space. Put a dot. Curve line, curve line, connect. Curve line, curve line, connect. Skip this space. Put a dot. Curve line down, connect. Curve line down, whoops, up, connect. Okay. Now I have to do the left hand side. So starting right here, I'm going to draw a straight diagonal down, straight diagonal out, connect. Right here, I put a straight diagonal in, straight diagonal out, and one more straight diagonal down, straight diagonal down, connect. Put a dot. Curve line, curve line, connect. Curve line, curve line, connect. Leave this space. Put a dot. Curve line, curve line, connect. Curve line, curve line, connect. Leave that space. Put a dot. Curve line, curve line, connect. Curve line, curve line, connect. Okay. You'll be able to see what you're doing better after we start coloring. Okay. On the spaces that we jumped over, <clears throat> excuse me, now I do one, two curve line, jump over, one, two curve line, jump over, one, two, jump over, one, two, jump over, one, two, curve line, jump over, one, two, curve line, jump over, one, two, jump over, one, two, jump over. Okay. In the space down below, we're going to draw a spiral. Jump over, draw a spiral. Jump over, if you have room, a spiral. Jump over, draw a spiral. Okay. This will be a lot less confusing once we start coloring. All right, I go straight up from my arrow and I put a dot. I draw the number eight, baby circle, baby circle. Right next to it, I put a dot. I draw the number eight, baby circle, baby circle. Put a dot, the number eight, baby circle, baby circle. Dot, draw the number eight, baby circle, baby circle. I think I can fit one more. Put a dot. Draw the number eight. They get a little crazy once you do them sideways. Baby circle, baby circle. Now going the opposite direction, put a dot. Draw the number eight. Baby circle, baby circle. Dot. Draw a number eight. Baby circle, baby circle. Dot. Draw a number eight. Baby circle, baby circle. Okay, I think that's all, but we'll know better once we start coloring. Okay, let's see how we're going to do that. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do so that I can see what I'm doing is I'm going to take brown and I'm going to color my outside circle. 
As always, you will do a much better job than me. This is just so I can see what I'm doing. So that outside circle, I'm going to do brown. I'm also going to come in and I'm going to do the arrow point shaft, I should say. This is brown, also so I can see what I'm doing. Next, I take turquoise. And I'm going to do my arrow heads, my triangles, top and bottom. I'm going to do my next circle. This is going to be uh, blue, turquoise blue, all the way around. Keep going. And this is so I can see what I'm doing. Now I come in and I do my little inner circle. This is very important so you can see what you're doing. And I do the little jump over curve lines. Once you have this section done, you can see what you just drew. Otherwise, it just looks like a bunch of lines and it can make you cuckoo, make you crazy. Okay. Now that I've done that, I come in with red violet and I do these shapes. And as I add my color, I get more and more of an idea of what my dream catcher actually looks like. It's so confusing when you just have those black and white lines. But this helps you see what you drew. Now I come in and I do the little flag parts on this section in the center and in the very center center I should do a little bit of brown. That leaves everything else which are my feathers. This is the top part. This should be black. And the tip should be black. Black at the top, black at the bottom. Black at the top, black at the bottom. Black at the top, black at the bottom. And I'm glad I did this because I just Remembered these little baby circles should be turquoise blue also that are holding my feather shapes. So these should all be turquoise blue. Lots of turquoise blue. Okay. Then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a green and I'm going to color in my number eights and my baby circles all the way. Now you may substitute different colors than the ones I'm using. I'm using these are kind of southwest colors, but if you wanted to do it in a different range of colors, go for it. You're the artist. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Here's my dream catcher all colored in. Complicated drawing, but way cool once you finish. Okay, bye bye.